What's up everyone, Editor James here for Toe Tag Movie Reviews, here to let you know that unfortunately we will not be having a review episode this week. Chuck and his fiance went out of town to visit some family members and he did not get a chance to record the latest episode. Family comes first. However, we did record an episode that was intended for podcast. Chuck made the conscious decision to record a video of it to throw it up on the channel, which is the video you are currently watching right now. So enjoy this video slash podcast episode of him trying to get me back on movie trivia. Next week, the reviews will be released as scheduled. Enjoy. The good news is your dates are here. What's the bad news? They're dead. Oh, you're so cool, Brewster. <laughs> Everybody's a suspect. Hey, Ted, where the hell's Parks, bro? Fuck with the Chuck. Welcome. How are you about to say that about a, a whole race, race of people that they should be exterminated? What is your problem? Sorry about him, guys. <laughs> you make me look very racist right now. <laughs> uh, they do it on Two Bears, One Cave all the time. I want to give you hero medicine. Oh, with uh, Burt Kirshner and... Burt Kreischer and Tom Burt Kreischer, yeah. yeah. All right. But this ain't Two Bears, One Cave. This is... This is the Toe Tag Movie <clears throat> Review, and today I'm going to get my sweet, long overdue revenge on our producer, on our editor, the guy, the mastermind behind this whole thing. His name is James Simon. Producer? Yeah. I don't know what producers do. Me either. I'm going to get my long overdue revenge. So James got me on Scream Trivia, which is my favorite horror movie, and I'm getting him on Halloween 4 which is the one he knows the most. His favorite horror movie mm -hmm. is The Fly or The Thing. The Fly or Reanimator. Re oh, I knew it was going to be Reanimator. I've always stuck between those two, but I mean, do I think number four is the best? It's not. It's the one that I've seen the most. Yeah, of, though. yeah. It's just something about it that makes, like, separates it from all the previous Halloweens. For example, the opening is the only one that doesn't really have, like, besides number three, it's the only one that doesn't have, like, a pumpkin. Yeah. It's just fall ambiance. My favorite part about that, honestly, is like the small Midwest like town. Yeah. But all you hear is... Tell like me, you hear the wind. Tell me you watch that movie and don't just get the whole small town 80s Halloween fall vibe from mm -hmm. it. In just the first two minutes. Mm -hmm. I, I love agree. that. And something about one single guy having control over like an entire town... Yeah. And everyone just fears him. Having it in the constant state of fear because yeah. of him. Yeah. It's like he's Richard Ramirez somehow. It's like they know of him, but they yeah. don't know what he looks like. And he has a grip of fear. Well, yeah, like, apparently in uh, Halloween Kills, they think he's an old, shriveled up man that gimps around. <laughs> Are you ready for your first question, my brother? From yeah. another mother? Sure, why not? Let me ruin it real quick for you. The construction worker's name is Bucky. I'm getting a pen. I'm going to put a giant F you, okay? Because <laughs> his name is Bucky. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of the questions on here. So when I get to it, I'll just cross it out. Yeah, you can just say I beat you. Yeah. Well, don't get like Chuck and get too cocky here. Oh, yeah? Shut up, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just remember you said that. <laughs> so I'm doing what James did. I start, I'm starting off very easy and progressively getting harder. Question number one. What year did the movie come out, James? 1988. Correct. Michael is being transported from where in the beginning of the film? Ridgemont Federal Sanitarium. <laughs> Just a little fucking... What is the name of the gas station that has the Lincoln Shrine? It's, it's the restaurant. The gas station didn't really have so much a name, but the restaurant, because, you know, I saw it split in two. Yeah. Yeah, the sign was on the left for the restaurant. It's the same as pennies. <laughs> All right, Dwight. What's Jamie's dog's name? Sunday! What's the Great. family's last name that adopted Jamie? Okay, uh, if I should die before I wake, I pray by my soul today. God bless mommy and daddy. Carruthers. What is the name of Rachel's mother? Oh, Ra wait, your... Rachel's mother. Yep, Mrs. Carruthers. Yeah, Mrs. Carruthers. That's her name. Uh, 
If only it was that easy, bud. Uh. Shut up, bitch! <laughs> you you might have got me on that one. What her mother's name? When is it said? The father says it. Fuck yeah! Right in the beginning, when he dips his tie in the mm -hmm. coffee, and he's looking at her like she's the problem. Yeah, honey. Diane? Very close. Uh, Darlene? Darlene ain't it. <laughs> I just had to play it in my head. Should I count that one? You blurted out, what, Diana or whatever? Diane, like Darlene, like, oh, fuck, what would he say to her? I'll let it slide, okay? I'll let that slide, because you're in a world of hurt. I'm pretty cozy right now, actually. What is the new sheriff's name? The new sheriff? Uh, Meeker. Yep. When Jamie is being bullied after class, what do the kids chant? They chant a couple things. Do you want all of them? Let's see if what you're going to say is what I wrote down. Boogeyman, oh. boogeyman, Jamie suckles the boogeyman. They do chant that. Jamie's an orphan. Jamie's a... Kids are dicks, man. Yeah. <laughs> you notice that that's the same kid who, like, when he meets on the street, lifts his mask and goes, that clown costume's really cool. Is that really? Yeah, same fucking kid. Same outfit and everything. I'd I feel like this movie that. had such, like, lack of awareness when they were making it. They focused yeah. so much on, like, just the movie. Like, the pink mask. They let that slide. Yeah. They let so many things slide. I still love it either way. Yeah, Halloween 4 is still goaded with the sauce. All right, question number nine. Here's where it's going to start getting a little bit harder. <clears throat> Who is Rachel's friend? That picks Jamie up from school. Lindsay. Which is apparently supposed to be Lindsay Wallace, but yeah, I feel like that was just like I a, read on that and I was like, I don't see it. Uh, apparently Tommy Doyle's in the drugstore when he's when yeah. that one dude's gonna go hit on that one chick. Yeah, I I think it was all just coincidental. Yeah. I don't mind that much though. It wasn't as prominent. It's kind of just like, oh yeah, you guys are here too. Well, he's an established character. If you are going to throw him in. At least give him a line or a scene, not a background character. Yeah, you know? and where Lindsay just gets only a first name in like two minutes of screen time. Yeah. What is the name of the store Brady works at? Vincent Drug. I actually learned that from this YouTube channel I watched. Uh, uh, it was Toe Tag Reviews. Check him out sometime. Really? Yeah, I heard it on their channel. I don't know. Might have to like, subscribe, and share. <laughs> <laughs> Question 11. What is Brady's friend's name that hits on Kelly Meeker? Fuck off, Wade. <laughs> Fuck off, Wade. And he turned don't, around. Don't like, rush me, Grady. <laughs> don't rush her, Grady. Time's got to be primo. Primo. Fuck off, Wade. <laughs> Just that look of like, guys? <laughs> <laughs> Question 12. When the high school kids act like they're going to pick up Dr. Loomis, mm -hmm. they pull over by the sign that says the nearest towns. You can name two out of the three, and as a bonus, if you can get the miles, <laughs> you I'll let you shave my hairy ass leg. I have that written down <laughs> right there. <laughs> oh, fuck. This and is... just for reference, people, my shit be hairy. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing yoga in the camera right now. <laughs> Oh, man. So, obviously, you I, know, Haddonfield's one, because that's yeah. where they're heading. Is that, like, is that going to be the two out of the three, or, like, are you not counting that, because it's so obvious? That's kind of the obvious one. Okay, so I still got to name two? If you, you, I'll take two. Yeah. But I'll let you shave oh, my whole man. leg. If you can get the miles, <laughs> too. You came out swinging on that one. I told you. You, you did. I'm getting my revenge. Ah. Uh. I'm just going to guess since they're in Illinois. Is Chicago one of them? Chicago, really? That was like a guess. Chicago is 320 miles. Haddonfield was 119 miles. What's the last one? Is this like a real city or is it made up like Haddonfield? I'm pretty sure it's real. What else is in Illinois? I just know Chicago. To be honest with you, I never heard of this place. No uh, offense if people from this place are watching. I don't know. Fucking Bakersfield. <laughs> Even though it's California. You got me on that one. It is Eaton. Eaton. E-A-T-O-N. 
Eaton S. <laughs> it was Eaton, Illinois, and it's 59 miles. All right, are you ready for question 13? Isn't that what you do? <laughs> Who is the religious guy that picks up Dr. Loomis? Reverend Jackson at your service. Middle initial and last names. He says the whole thing. I, I'll give it to you because you said Reverend Jackson. But I just want to test your knowledge, see if you know his middle initial um, and his last name. That's you! That's you! <laughs> oh, Loomis still shakes his hand even though he saw him do it. Uh, is his middle initial, like, it's his initial, right? And say It's Reverend something. Jackson, letter, and then his last name. Is the middle initial P? It is. Reverend Jackson P. Jackson P. P. Come on, James, you're right there, buddy. Reverend Jackson P. Uh, <laughs> brain <laughs> shut down. <laughs> Myers? <laughs> That'd be a little too on the nose, you know? I, I can't think of his last name. Is Reverend Jackson P. Sayer. Yep, now I hear it. Yes, we'll gather at the river. The beautiful, beautiful river. <laughs> like the only time Dr. Loomis smiles in any of the movies. He smiles in the first one with the oh, yeah. ass yes. away from that. And he gives like this really odd like. <laughs> <laughs> A little <laughs> chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Number 14. When Rachel's parents leave for their dinner party, when is Jamie's bedtime? Why do I want to say it's 9 o'clock? Because you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Question 15. Who is the bartender that runs the bar? God damn it. Oh, I can picture it now. They said his name too. Like, hey, turn that up. Revenge is so sweet. I just want you to do that, James. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. Ah. <laughs> uh. I'm going to guess something generic like Johnny. It was Earl. Earl, turn that up. Damn it! <sighs> what is the name of the bar? Earl. <laughs> <laughs> Earl's. <laughs> Earl's Bar and Grill. Earl's Tavern. It's, it's not Earl. Earl's Smokehouse. <laughs> it's nothing Earl. Modine's 3. <laughs> no. <laughs> God damn it. I can't think of the bar's name. Doom, doom, da, doom. Wow! Isn't that my, only like my second or third one wrong? Oasis. Wow, I was mm -hmm. late. When Michael throws the <clears throat> work around to the electrical tower, <laughs> you see his name on his hat. Bucky! Bucky! <laughs> All right, Jimmers, you are down to the final six questions, bud. Are you ready? I think. I, I don't want to get too cocky like you and then fuck up. Okay. <laughs> <Keep it> just... <laughs> <laughs> Including Michael, how many imposters are there? Wait, including Michael? What do you mean? Remember? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I know what you're talking about, but like Michael's, keep... not, Michael's not really an imposter. So are you asking like how, well, many... how many imposters, <clears throat> including Michael? I'm not saying including him as, as an imposter. I'm saying including him as a whole, like as the total number. Okay. I, I, because when... I'm going to guess like three or four because I know it's like one here, one here, and then one here with like a flannel plaid shirt sticking out. They are all like pranksters. They drive off yep. and Michael's behind them. So is the answer four? Three? Three plus Michael. Okay, so yeah. Four. Three plus Michael. Yeah. Three imposters. The lynch mob is led by Earl. He accidentally shoots a man. What is his name? Ah, oh, shit, Earl. It's Ted Hollister. <laughs> it's my favorite line of that movie. Shit, Earl. It's Ted Hollister. He uh, says it so, like, <clears throat> aggressive for no... It's Ted Hollister. Yeah. Shit. And they just leave him there. <laughs> yeah, they just leave him there. You don't even see this man or nothing. That's what I'm saying. Like, the attention to yeah. detail in this movie... It's such a guilty pleasure, though. I love this one so much. Well, dude, AMC's Fright Fest, it played nothing but four, yeah, five, and six. that was my first Halloween movie I ever saw. Four, five, and six. And my mom would watch it, and I'd look at it and shit my pants, because I was the biggest pussy until the age of 13. Sheriff Meeker says he has a town full of what running around? Okay, I gotta try and get this quote right. He says, I got a town full of drunk rednecks? I'm gonna need a no. final answer. Um... 
this is when they're like, <clears throat> he's getting ready to leave the house because he has you're, all these calls coming in. You're on the right track. Yeah, a town full. I swear it's like drunk rednecks, but it's a yeah, town full of. You got it, buddy. See, the way that you didn't say a yes or no leads me to believe I'm correct. Well, I'm trying to psych you out because you beat me and I got to get my revenge. So, Rock McSpudsy. It's either like drunk idiots, drunk rednecks. I feel like he says the word drunk. Drunk rednecks, final answer. Damn it! What is it? I got a town full of beer bellies running around. Fuck me! <laughs> hey, I got a town full of beer bellies running around the dock with shotguns. Damn. Final three questions, baby. This one's pretty easy. I'll give you this. Actually, the next two were fucking easy. Oh. Kelly brings what beverage to the deputy that is secretly Michael? Coffee? We watch some MTV while we wait for the cavalry. Jamie kills her mom with what weapon? Scissors. Well, hang on. Kills. Kills, yes. Apparently in the next one, Five. they say that she survived, even though we yeah. never see her. Yeah, I know. Literally all they say is <clears throat> she's survived. Final question, my brother. This is a very detailed question, so I need you to really use your brain. When they leave the school with the lynch mob, they pass a Haddonfield sign. Home of the what? Home of the Mike Mice. <laughs> He very scary. <laughs> my commands is very scary, man. Very. I never see anyone scary in hell. <laughs> hey, white mask. Him kill people. Yeah, you, you, you have no expression on your face. He just wears Black scary. eyes. Black eyes. The devil's eyes. The devil's eyes. Um, <laughs> Adam Field, home of the... See, I think I went into this too, like, thinking he's going to go way into detail. Yeah. Home of the... Land of the free and home of the brave. Had You're on the right track. <laughs> home of the American flags? No. Uh, I don't know. Fucking home of the corn stalks. It's Illinois. Is that your final answer? Uh, I have no final answer. My final answer is... uh. Shut up, bitch! Uh, I, I have no idea. You want to give me anything? I got to get the purest satisfaction out of this so just give me something i don't want you to i don't know i want you to say what it is so i can tell you that you're wrong and i can win this <laughs> what if i just said i don't have an answer i'm not accepting that i need this w right now <laughs> let me google this real quick <laughs> <laughs> you're googling it home of the potatoes you know it's idaho i don't fucking know you were very 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 close with Corn stalk. Are you shitting me? You were so close. Home of the cornfields? Huskers. Husker. Haddonfield Huskers. Oh my god. The corn huskers and shit. <laughs> Woo! Boy! How many did I get wrong though? Say so you got this whole page wrong. Got that oh, whole page whatever. wrong. Whatever. <laughs> okay. That's five. And that's how much I missed. So we're even. Okay, we're even. Now <laughs> we're going to redo it. You pick out another movie for me and I'll get you. So yeah, we, we tied. We we tied. Hey, it was a good game. High five. Boop. Well, it's been a uh, fun ride, but all good things come to an end. So, but hey, that means you're not the man. Because to be the man, you, you gotta, gotta beat, beat the, the man. man. And you didn't beat the man. You tied the man. Well, uh, the best there is, the best there was, and the best there ever will be, Bret Hart. So come at me, dude. Okay. Shut up, bitch. Well, we're gonna sign off here. James, next time, I'm stepping it up even harder. Yeah, next time, I'm stepping it up even harder mm -hmm. as well. Are you, though? Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. That's cute. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell them. See you later.